Well, the Toledo Walleye have never had back-to-back -back shutouts in walleye history. They do that. They score 12, beat Gwinnett. 12 nothing. let's head down to the locker room to Rob Rusinski. Rob? Uh, here with Coach, and Coach uh, ties uh, an all-time Toledo ECHL record. What do you say after a game like this? Uh, not a whole lot. We've asked our guys all year long to um, turn the page immediately, no matter high lows, and this was certainly one we turned the page. It just was an interesting game. I've never experienced anything like that. I don't know if I ever will again. Uh, it was just a situation where we scored a couple goals early. Uh, they're a team that is coming off a long road trip, and they packed in a little bit, and we just kept it at a high level. And I gave our guys a ton of credit. They played the game right, which I asked them to do the rest of the way. And it just it turned into just everything kind of went in. Yeah. Team never let up either. They weren't satisfied with the three-goal or five-goal lead. Well, I don't know if it's my being satisfied. We preach being fast and playing tempo all the time. And they're not going to turn it off now. So I just think it was accumulation of just us kept doing what, we've, what we always want to do. Heading into this week, team was struggling go into Fort Wayne, get a big win. How big was that win, looking back now at this weekend, well, how it turned out? It was just a good road win. And again, like I, we were struggling in the fact that we had lost three out of four, but our play was fine. I mean, we could have flipped easily one, two, or three of those. Uh, we'd won you know, one of the previous games on the weekend. It was just it was a good road win. Again, we do take it one game at a time. And I'm looking forward to this week. We get a full week of practice. It's not going to happen this often down the stretch with how many games we play. A lot of people just focus on the goals that you scored. The fact that in three straight games, you gave up one goal. How good does that feel? Well, it's awesome. Our goal tank's been great over the last three, four games. And obviously, we have a very depleted lineup right now with uh, either injury or AHL call-up. And I think we've stressed defending as a team. And even the last couple games, we even talked about it early on. Let's make sure we still defend as a five-man unit, but let's not watch our goalie make a lot of key saves, which was the case the last couple nights. Those weren't 3-1, 5 nothing games. Those were tighter games, which our goaltending was excellent. I'm sure the guys have earned a, a, a day's rest here. What do you tell the guys leading into next weekend where you have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games against Kalamazoo? Well, it's going to be fun. It's, it's a rival. We always play tight. All of our games with them this year have been one-goal tight games. And just to play a game, a, a same team in three games, is going to almost feel like a playoff atmosphere where you get them back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. And, again, I'm looking forward to some quality practice time because we're not going to have a lot down the stretch. All right. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. All right. Matt, other, not much you can say. The Coach doesn't you really can't pick a whole lot apart when you win 12, 12 nothing yeah hard to do so when you're when you're dominant offensively and you're dominant defensively I'm glad you brought that up as well because you look over the course of the last four games Rob you get one goal against uh, against Fort Wayne you didn't even give up a goal in the shootout Jeff Lurk didn't even do that uh, and then you turn around just the one goal as well against Cincinnati and now back-to-back -back shutouts for the first time in Toledo walleye history I mean I, a perfect storm of a lot of things happening this past week. You know, offensively, defensively, goaltending, all facets, the power play, the penalty kill, all facets of the game now seem to be back into click, Matt. Yeah, they certainly are uh, definitely going right now.